Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Kenna and this is the second part in my series on making games using ChatGPT. If you haven't seen the first part yet, I highly recommend you go back and watch it because it's gonna set the foundation for everything we're doing in this video. From generating the initial code to debugging and refining some of the game mechanics. We've come a long way, but now it's time to polish up our game even further and make it look even more appealing. In this video, I'll be focusing on the CSS styling of my game using ChatGPT to make my game look more appealing. I'll be showing you how I worked with ChatGPT to generate the code needed to make a visually engaging game. So if you're ready to take this game to the next level, let's jump in. So like I said, my next goal was to make my game actually look very pretty. Um, right now it's not CSS styled at all and it just looks kind of ugly. So first I worked on figuring out how to position the CSS boxes to be nested within each other correctly and centered on the screen. More specifically, the first step is to center the game board itself, the place where the cards sit, in the middle of the screen horizontally and vertically. So then I asked ChatGPT how to import a Google font into my CSS code, and then I thought, why don't I just make ChatGPT do it? So first, I sourced a font that I really liked, and then pasted it into ChatGPT, and then said to follow the instructions that I gave it earlier in order to give me the right code to put in my CSS to make my font appear on the screen. After pasting that code in, my font magically appeared on the screen. It felt like witchcraft, it really did. So then I worked on the centering for the beginning screen, putting my title in the middle, and then I even made the title bold to make it stick out a little bit more. I even asked ChatGPT which overflow properties I should use in order to make my text appear in the middle of the screen, stay in the middle of the screen, and not give me any extra bars or anything in my um, containers that would make it look really complicated and not right. So here I'm at a good point to take a look back at what I made. So here's an example. Next, I worked on formatting the styling of the cards to make them more aesthetically pleasing. I experimented a little bit and gave ChatGPT its own creative license to create cards that look like they're sitting on a table using CSS styling. After I pasted that in, the cards themselves were reset in their height and width to look very rectangular, like an actual card, like probably what I wanted. But I didn't want to keep that, I just wanted to keep the styling that it gave me to make it look like it's kind of floating on the screen, like it would look if I set it on a table. So I got rid of the sizing and kept all the styling. And then after that, I messed with the padding and the margins on each of the cards to make them set up on the screen the way that I liked. And the only thing else that I removed was the black outline because I kind of liked the way it looked without it better. And then next up, I had to handle how I would make the cards look when they are selected or a match. So for a match, at first it was outlined or filled in with green and completely changed the look of the card, but since I'm going for a more realistic effect, I decided to take some UX and UI inspiration in mind and made it so that they looked disabled, like you couldn't click on them, like they were a button. I asked ChatGPT how to make them transparent. After asking ChatGPT how to make them transparent, I adjusted them, well, not transparent. I mean translucent, technically, but I adjusted the transparency values to match what I think looked good. After that, I messed with the margins and the padding on the game board itself to prepare me for the next step that I would complete. So next up, I wanted to make the cardboard itself look like it was separate from the whole background of the website. In order to make the cards look like they're sitting on an actual table and not like they're floating in space on the web page. I asked ChatGPT to make the game board itself a translucent white and then round the borders of it to make it look a little bit softer. And then this is what it ended up looking like. And then after that, I mean, I was pretty satisfied. So I worked on changing some of the styles of the buttons as well. The start button I had styled 
um, but the testing buttons weren't styled yet, so I changed their class to look a little bit more like the start button. And then finally, I was finished. I had a fully fledged game, and I'm ready to be hired by um, Ubisoft. I mean, anybody that wants to reach out, um, I'll be happy to send you my resume. And yeah, you can get me um, started. I'll be a senior dev on your team, so. <laughs> All jokes aside, I was pretty proud of the progress I made. I mean, despite the issues I ran into with ChatGPT, um, I was able to fix it up and make it look like it was a fully realized game. I mean, normally I would have been stuck in tutorial hell, as um, everybody calls it, and that's not really the way you want to go with developing from everything that I've heard online. So yeah, I think using the help of the computer to self-guide your own learning has been extremely beneficial and I highly recommend all of you to try it and see what you can make. And I mean at the end it's something that's unique that if I would have followed a tutorial I would have ended up with the same cookie cutter project as everybody else so yeah. If you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and also please share it with your friends um, help spread the knowledge. And if you aren't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified of next time that I upload a game dev related or coding related video. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions that you want to leave below, or maybe even your own project that you made, um, please leave it in the comments. I'm happy to respond to any of them that I receive. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video.